Hello and welcome back to another episode of X4 on our Rebel Trader playthrough. Um, we are currently sat in... Um, I don't actually know where we're sat. I think we're in Manan. No, we're just outside Manan. The lumbering ox ready and waiting because this episode, the plan is to essentially prepare um, for the invasion of... The sump, um, which is here, and we're going to take this um, this black sun base. And the way we're going to kind of do that, um, instead of relying on the full fleet we've got built up here uh, in Oita, this fleet right here, we're actually going to rely mainly on the lumber and ox. So this episode is going to basically be the preparation side of it. So we're going to get this up to spec, so it's got the guns, and then with its rather impressive um, capacity of 70 ships, um, we're going to go and fill it with droid fighters, and we're going to see how it fares, basically, uh, in the sump against that fleet. It was quite a big fleet, but I reckon we, we might be able to... Um, get it taken. One of the things I have done to kind of like as a staging point in Polis Massey we've got a little starter base, a little border, one of our border defence um, platforms on the go um, and this is essentially going to be because the plan will be to take this bottom sector because we've got some good resources um, around here. Someone did suggest um, Rutan being a, a, a potential base of operation for us. The New Republic have got quite a few uh, defence stations planned in this area, including one we're going to be building them. Um, so these two sectors seem to be left alone. So the plan will be build one in Polamassi, and that will get us ore and silicon, which is some really good um, basic resources. Then move into Delrakin, which will get us some Tabana, and then we can start moving across. And hopefully, um, we can we can take advantage of this place. Uh, is that is Dinaha, because is Dinaha is a bit of a a Goldilocks system, and it, it's got all what we, we could ever need uh, resource-wise. Um, and then obviously take the sump, because we've got some ice and silicon and things like that there as well. So that's essentially the plan. Um, we will be cracking on in the background as well, getting some of these missions um, started. One of the things we need to do as well, unfortunately, this station is now full. Um, of various different items and components which are really really good apart from it doesn't seem to have anything that we really need so um, we need to empty some of that in order to be able to get um, the wares in um, so that's the kind of the aim of the game I've got it in setter as it stands at the minute because um, I just wanted to kind of like get this this part of it done nice and quickly. Um, and then what we'll do is when the Luca's all ready and waiting for us, we'll buy some droid fighters from down, um, I think it's the HKD wharf that we need to be getting those from. We'll set the Luca on its way uh, to uh, Polar Massey because then we've only got a couple of jumps. Um, to the sump and we'll get some of these other missions we've got for building defence stations and things like that done and CR90s because we haven't got any CR90s yet and uh, at least one person mentioned that they'd like to see some so why not, we you like a good CR90 um, so that's what we'll do so that's the plan, that's what's going to happen for now um have you done what you wanted you to do? Yeah, you've got the components. So I'm going to get that filled up and I will see you in a short little while. So, very quick update. 
Um, we are in Rutten at the minute. We're just kind of like chilling out, um, waiting for things to happen. We have now got uh, the base built enough for it to be considered as um, our sector. I can already see there being a slight problem with the fact that there's uh, mercenary corsairs kicking about. Um, so we're going to be, uh, when we don't stop getting blinded by the great big light, we know what the old Gazantes look like. They look like old Gazantes. Um, so yeah, so we've got this, this area under our control. <clears throat> we've got all the supplies to the lumbering ox. So with any luck, that should now start actually getting itself um, up to date. So we've got 20 ships at the minute, I believe. We'll just double check. We've got 10 droid fighters. And we've got 10 um, bombers. Yeah, so we've got 10 and 10. So I'm going to get another 20 bombers. And we're going to see about getting... So that'll bring us up to 20, 30, 40. And we've got a capacity of 70, or so it says. Uh, <clears throat> and we'll buy the rest in fighters. So, that's if we can afford it all right now. Um, small ships. What did we want? We wanted the... The vultures, didn't we? Because they're the droid fighters. Uh, vulture escort. Um, no, we don't. We want the hyenas first. Let's get the hyenas out of the way first. Um... And we want uh, 20 of those. Uh, so that brings us up to 40, 50, 60, 70. And then we're going to need... Um, well, we're not going to be able to afford them all just yet. But we might be able to order another 10 of these, he says. Nope, we're not going to be able to order another 10. How many can we get? We can get another 5. Um, so that'll start the... the, the little support fleet going anyway unless my maths are completely wrong which is a good chance because I'm a little bit tired um, I'm, I'm a bit a bit poorly uh, these last couple of days I very nearly didn't end up recording this episode um, because of because of how ill I was, <laughs> I was feeling earlier on but I soldiered on just so we could get this episode out um, you should be Done? Doing? Ah, there we go. So we've got just under seven minutes left on that. Um, have we got any more money in coming in the banks? Smart chips is costing us money for some reason. Oh, nice one. So these stations are finally um, making, uh, uh, finally coming online as well um, if you are new to this series um, whereas usually you'd be allowed to uh, dip into these as part of the challenge we're not allowed to take any money out of the bank accounts the station accounts uh, because that money has been spoken for by other parties um, so even though we have have technically got a lot of money, it's not ours to spend. It belongs to our uh, benevolent benefactor. Um, but we have got a couple of missions to get these stations built. So when these start getting built, we should, we will be will be okay. Now, wow, they build quick. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell the hyenas to meet us. In um, well, I'm going to tell them to all the bombers to meet, meet us in this uh, sector. In fact, we'll meet in Rutan because why not? Um, we'll send them as a convoy. 
we only got a couple of seconds for those to be built. And then we'll have a fleet of fine Geonosian ships. It, it's very much a pity you can't sell stations, because if you could sell stations, then I'd be very tempted to sell that one in Manan. Um, because it's not particularly uh, profitable, let's say, as it stands at the minute. But ho hum, what can you do? Um, the Imperial Ascendancy are pretty much down to their last two sectors now. Um, they're managing to hang on somehow. Uh, the Inok Federation. Um, their stalwart allies seem to be moving in to um, basically take over. Uh, we've For this station, we didn't have any of our builders free, so we've employed a new Republic one to come in. Um, whether or not that actually makes it, we don't know, because um, they are at war. It was quite far away as well, so it'll probably take a fair while for it to uh, get back. Right, where's my... New squadron of ships. 32 seconds. Because um, we're going to want these guys. Oh, in fact, it'd be easier if we select you. You, 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 you. You, come on. Ah, this is the longest, longest 10 seconds. Come on. And the last of the hyenas, there we go. So you can fly and wait there. Now where is the lumbering ox? So you've still got seven minutes left. So we'll skip ahead a little bit. Um, let's just watch this. I don't know, can we live stream this? Pause a minute. Uh, live stream view. There we go. Don't know how fast these are under their own own speed. Uh, I'd be surprised if they have their own sub uh, sector engines, subspace engines, warp engines. Basically, the ones that give you travel speed. Um. Yeah, they are pretty damn slow. They look good though. Um, obviously, droid fighters, the very much a type of fighter that um, is is an escort ship. It's meant to be tethered to a mothership, which is what we'll be doing. Um, so I'll give it the seven minutes it's wanting, and then once we've got that seven minutes, um, I'm going to quickly check back in because I want to see how this thing actually manages to maneuver because when we first bought this this thing did not want to move at all um but we shall see so i will see you very shortly okay so the lumbering ox is lumbering slowly but surely out of uh dry dock it's now upgraded so it should have let's see what we have here pause that because some pirates are going to attack me. We should have all the lasers it will require, as well as some cargo drones and a little defensive wing, which is good. Um, and we're going to tell it to go and meet us here, because um, rutan has got a good uh, little jump. So we can just do one jump into Terminus and then up and across and we'll be in the sun which will be fantastic i just need to deal with this little friend land a shuttle oh so nice of you to share Drop the how cargo. about no okay so the stinger is not a particularly good combat craft so we might die here but that's fine um Uh, it's a hut pirate, it's not a 
um, thingy. He's in a Victor Wing. I do like the look of the Victor Wings. They're very funky. Like that isn't gonna stop me. Good, I'm glad it's not going to hit you. Did it stop you? How about two hits? Three hits? Yeah, she's definitely a, um, a luxury barge, this ship, not a um, fighter. I would imagine it would probably do alright as a trader. Um, it's one of those, it's a nice ship to actually have in the game. Um, it's, it's relatively tough. Um, for what it is. Uh, right. Where are you? So we know when we pilot this ship, it's a steaming pile of garbage. But when the AI takes command, well, it doesn't actually look too bad as it stands at the moment. It's maneuvering around. So top speeds wise, it does about 94 meters per second. Um, like standard speed, and then your travel speed is about 4,000 meters per second, so it is pretty damn slow. But on the, the, the kind of the plus side of it, if we look at the statistics of it, um, it's got. <laughs> Two million over two million hull over one and a half million um, shields, and it's got um, a lot of firepower. Now this is only the freighter version as well. This is this is literally just a trade ship. Um, essentially, this is not the battle version of the uh, Luca. So. Oh, well, everything's telling me to go into setter to get it to come to us quicker, but I know set, using too much setter uh, upsets the um, balance of the force. So we'll just follow it down a little bit because I'm curious, basically. I'm curious to see how this works. If, if nothing else, this episode is going to be kind of like a um, testing the, cap uh, the capabilities of this thing. Um, because by rights it should be a should be a solid ship. How have we got some more money? Because I I need to get some money into some bank account, uh, some construction jobs. No, because you're taking it all off me. That's fine. Oh no, we've still got half a mil. Cool. Uh, so while we're monitoring you, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Is it? that one uh, plan build let me just get try it and I've not put any money in this one so far how bizarre okay confirm close menu uh, okay that fleet we're leaving there for the minute um, nope Thinking I'm in that ship and I'm not in that ship. All right, so so far we're going pretty well. So from my understanding, the way this game works is, I don't know the best way to describe it, but you have kind of like a hard physics mode where if something is in the same sector as you, it behaves one way, such as if it hits something, it hits something, which can lead to clipping errors where fighters get stuck in stuck in like. Um, inside ship engines and stuff like that but when it's something outside the system it has uh, a soft physics thing so whereas usually when we're it, when we've been piloting this trying to get it to go into autopilot it doesn't like to go through the gates because these things are that big they're essentially almost as wide as the gates they only just scrape through um, so when we're in it doesn't want to do it. However, when the AI is controlling it, it's got through one gate at least. 
We just need to see if it goes through the other gates. Um, that's been off selling us some uh, energy cells. I think what I need to do is do a bit of micromanaging on this station because it produces loads of energy cells. Um, so if I can, I can essentially buy loads of energy cells and then sell them on. You're slightly disappointing. I don't know where you're going. Right, we're going to set it a minute, see what it does. Because it, sh it should, should just fly that way. He's such a slow ship. I don't think I'd ever be able to, to play a campaign of X4 as the ICG with these with a Luca as kind of like the oh there you go so it's managed to get get itself through nicely as kind of like my capital ship um because it's just too 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 temperamental I mean it's like this why 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 is it doing this why don't you just fly straight I suppose it's because you've got to get away with get away from all the gate traffic and that. Um, okay, so we're probably going to be sat here for a little while. So I'll get this to where we are, and then we'll uh, see about mounting the attack on the sump. We'll see if we can get this little ditty of a station completed, and then. We'll, uh, we'll get a bit more money in that way, which will be nice, and we can take it from there. All right, so she's made it in system, and surprisingly, it didn't actually take that long. Um, looks like she's jumped into what was a uh, little bit of a fight there. What we got there? That Moncal support. I thought it was home one for a minute, but yeah, there's been a bit of a bit of a scrap down here. That looks like between a note and um, New Republic by the looks of it. But there she is. She made it. She made it pretty well as well. Um, the vultures and the hyenas are on their way, and they are getting loaded up as we speak. From what I remember, the main enemies that we've got to deal with are such as some nebulon bees um, and there's some action five interceptors um, so pretty much jury rigged freight ships much like what we're using um, and there was quite a few fighters so what we'll be doing is we still need to buy some more fighters to fill this up. Um, we still need some more money as well. We should, we're slowly but surely getting this built up for the New Republic. Um, and once this is built up, we should have a little bit more money in the old bank account. Um, and then we'll have... Um, we can look at buying some TR-90s. Where do we get those from Corellia. Um, so there's a couple of different um, variants of the CR90s. We've got the A, which if we put that on a high preset, um, I think this is the one with the bigger guns. Um, it's got, uh, or is it the AS? I don't remember. You got the A, uh, the AS. What's the B? I can't remember. Is the B the gunboat? Someone did did tell me in the comments. Um, 
the AS is more anti-ship based. I think there's all very slight different uh, nuances. We'll probably just go with some of the cheaper ones. Uh, and we're going to get them outfitted at that Corellian Wharf as well, just to kind of speed things on. Um, we'll peg it down to an underhanded deal. We, we've got some freebies thrown in. Um, so let's have a look at this wing of ships while we're waiting. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I'll be honest, I am starting to struggle a little bit. So this is going to be a shorter episode. Um, it is going to be more or less get the fleet together, get the fleet ready, um, and then uh, we'll call it an episode, I think. I've been recording for about 50 minutes. I think there'll probably be about, what, maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes of actual <laughs> usual footage. It, it does does take so long to actually um, do the recording of the X4 series. Um, so like an average duration of like how long it actually takes me to, to, to play in the game to get the episodes out. You're usually looking about three, four hours. Of that three, four hours, there's an hour to an hour and a half worth of usable footage. Um, And then you're doing that three times, how many, uh, three episodes a week? So what's that? F between nine and 12 hours of recording. And then there's the edit inside of it. It actually doesn't take me very long to edit these at all. Oh, that's a nice beefy looking gun, isn't it? Um, It's like one of the the big advantages of editing to dead together and doing series is like this is it doesn't doesn't take much to actually do the editing side of it. Um, like of of all the games because I've, I've obviously I've done other games in that in the past um, on Let's Plays years and years and years ago. This is probably one of the easiest to edit and put together. Especially, especially from like a commentary point of view because if there's nothing happening I don't have to say anything. Um, unless, you know, I really feel like doing some some waffle which we all know I'm very good at. Um, but yeah, you just cut it out. So you, you're pretty much always on the the action action side of things if that's what you want to do um, that is I know some people do really well at actually doing it is kind of like in real time episode to episode is basically what they what they do and stuff like that but as like we games and stuff like that I'm hey you, you got told to dock where you going friend oh you, you mean uh, Oh, is it a yo-yo? So some some ships, when they dock, they dock and then they yo-yo out. And then back in. No, this one's just... It's just had enough. So this is a little droidy voice. I don't want to be bad of this fleet. Um, whoa! But yeah, uh, as I was saying, me... on. Oh, What the hell is that? Okay. Well, the way I play a lot of games, especially like this, is, is pretty cautiously. Oh, there's got a, a, a goof troop or, and Ernie ship crashing into it. Um, I play, play them quite cautiously, same as on R RTSs. Um, like, Command and Conquer games, uh, especially, you know, if if I was doing the whole let's play thing back then wouldn't be a game that I'd ever do because um, 
it's so boring to watch me play those games because I'm I am your stereotypical stereotypical turtle player. I like to sit sit in my base, build some defenses, and wait for everyone to uh, come to me. I don't I don't I don't understand what you guys are doing. You're meant to be docking. That's not a hard task. The shields, the shields are damaged. In fact, what we'll do is you hold your position now. Just stay where you are. How many ships have you managed to dock? None of the new ones. You're still only at 20 out of... Okay, we might have to leave system and let this deal with whatever it's doing on its lonesome. Can you tell me you've not managed to get any done? We got 20 bombers, 5 new on defense. So that should be 15, that should be um, 40. Did I order 20? I can't remember. What's going down on here? Defense platform. Well, the New Republic are giving the um, last of the ACS a bit of a pound in. I do feel sorry for the Imperial Ascendancy in this update. They, they, every playthrough I've done, they very much feel like they're getting um, pounded to dust very quickly, very easily. But what can you do? Ho hum! Right, so, where are we? What is going on? Um, so we're going to try and get these ships docked. Um, I'm going to get some more money built up and then we're going to get a squadron of CR90s. Uh, we'll just go for the cheapest ones we can get. Um, probably a squadron of five just to back them up. And we'll buy some more uh, vulture droids as well once we've got that little bit of money. Hopefully this station will start getting built up as well at some point soon. Uh, I just need to keep trickle funding money into it. Um, so yeah, so as ever, I will, I'll see you in a in a very short period of time. Okay, welcome back. So we've got another pirate in a Y wing trying to attack us. Um, well done. So we're going to deal with this pirate, um, and I'm going to call it an episode, basically. Because unfortunately, uh, I am feeling rough as a dog's dinner. So we'll do this as a two part episode. Um, and as soon as I'm feeling a little bit better, a bit more up to it, we'll get uh, episode two up. Um, so part one will be essentially this to get the, the plan and prep side of things. And then part two will be us actually managing to attack the sump. Uh, I'm still waiting on stuff basically to get completed building. The main thing we're waiting for is the uh, this basin run for the um, New Republic. So once that's completed, because I'm an idiot, I forgot to put any actual high... Um, load out on either of the bases so they've got no turret components so until this builds shields and turrets it's not actually classed as a defence per station. The New Republic wants uh, not that they need one in this sector of space because um, I mean that fleet is, is pretty damn big. What have they got there? They've got three liberties Three Liberties, a bunch of MC40s, um, and two Quasars, which is pretty good going, really, isn't it? Um, have they got any ships? And 75 fighters, they're a bit low on fighters, but then they have got support ships as well. Some um, CR90s, I'd have to guess. Oh no, they've got some hammerheads um, and stuff like that. So. Yeah, by the by, though, um, I'm going to call it an episode for there, 
for now. And I will see you uh, for part two of this, which uh, will go up at some point during the week. Um, and hopefully we'll be back to normal scheduling um, as soon as we can. So, as ever, thank you for watching. I have been Captain Jack Gumption. And until next time. <laughs>